Welcome to Nagoya. This is uh, Sakai Machi or Sakai area, the center. And I spent many nights here when I first came to Japan. And it's changed so much. This is the first city that I lived in in 1998. Uh, a lot changed in 2005 when Aichi, when Nagoya hosted the World Expo in 2005. It was a, a pretty big thing. They had the, the banners for it to come here in 1999, six years before. And you can see the Nagoya TV tower right there. One of the icons of the city. How you doing everybody? I, I'm here for, for one night to film something that uh, out there in the countryside. I'm staying here in the city of Nagoya and I thought and this is something that I polled our insiders on the Only in Japan Go channel. Where would you like to see next? Nagoya was number two. It's a new place. It's not, it's not a place that I've actually showed a lot, or any YouTuber for that matter, uh, on YouTube. A lot of the Japan YouTubers kind of avoid the city. And I'm going to show you a little bit of why maybe you should not. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to just take you over here because I myself have not been to see here, see this here. Um, I, I guess this is like an arts place or the internet says uh, this Oasis 21 is what it's called. It's also a place where people can come and just rest. Lots of benches and chairs. There's some grass here. Kind of a green area in the middle of the city. And in this live stream, I'm also going to be taking you to some of the iconic places in Sakai, which is Nagoya's entertainment district. You can go down um, and a place called Crystal Plaza which is where everybody meets their friends when they come here. Then I'm going to take you to the ID bar just outside of it and see if that still exists. Whoa. This place looks like the 21st century. Nagoya is really happening. This is not the Nagoya that I remember. Wow. Beautiful. Whew. All right, let's walk around this place a little bit and see what we can find. It's interesting. This is an arts hall. They have exhibitions here. Um, hey, Shane Posh is here. Hey, Shane. Welcome to Nagoya. So let's walk down this way. Uh, I walked past what used to be a pachinko parlor. It was Japan's first pachinko parlor. In fact, pachinko started in Nagoya and they used to have a pachinko museum that was really really nice and that kind of went out of business I guess I don't know what happened to the pachinko museum and I don't know what happened to the pachinko parlor it's gone now it's no longer in the position where it used to be so we're gonna cross the street here and you're gonna see a ferris wheel and a Don Quixote that's in the place of where the pachinko parlor was it's it's crazy why would they do that? You can't replace a pachinko parlor with Don Quixote. Can, can, can you do that? I don't, I guess you can do that. There's not a lot of people out at this time of night. Um, tomorrow night is the big night. That's Friday night. This is Thursday night. So by default, this is my Friday night because tomorrow I'm not going to go out at all. <laughs> I'm going to be editing the video that I just took. I'm so excited about this new video. So um, it is pretty colorful and pretty bright at night though. And I, I forgot about all the subways. I forgot about, here we got a green light here. I forgot about the subway lines, the Higashiyama line and the Meijo line, which is kind of like a circle line. It's so different than Tokyo. But one thing that is really interesting, this park right here, right in front of the TV tower is very much like Sapporo. If you've ever been to Sapporo's uh, Odori Park, this is, uh, Hisayao Dori Park and you can see in the distance right there's a TV tower this is this is the same as Odori Park in Sapporo I've always been really um, amazed at the similarities between them but what didn't exist when I first lived here in Nagoya was what's on the left and the right polo like all, all, there's all these brand shops here and this was not here in 1998 in fact I think it was just like I don't know, there was a lot of homeless here and there were some benches and some grass. I think there's a fountain somewhere. And now it's like so trendy. What's up with that? What happened to you, Nagoya? It's 
It's very confusing. Over there is the Mitsukoshi department store. And of course, just like in Tokyo, they have a lion there. So we're gonna go take a look at that as well. Wow, this brings back so many memories. Nagoya is, uh, I believe it's the third biggest city in Japan, but it's had a shrinking population for a while. Nagoya is, um, as somebody who's lived here for the first three years in, in, of, of in Japan, when I moved to Japan, I lived in Okazaki, in Toyohashi. I lived here in the city in Fujigaoka and not that far away in a place called Kasai. And uh, that's where uh, I believe Ichiro played uh, high school baseball over there in Kasai. So it's a nice area to live. It's the suburbs. And a lot of this is fueled by manufacturing. The city of Nagoya is a manufacturing place. A lot of people c came in here after World War II, especially from Brazil. And there's a lot of Brazilian, a big Brazilian population. You'll find Brazilian restaurants and kind of a little bit more of a spirit. A little bit more, a little bit more colorful in that way. And when I lived in Toyohashi, I had a ton of Brazilian friends. Which was great because when I lived in Toyohashi, it was 2002 and Japan had the World Cup, Japan and Korea. And it was pretty crazy because I, I, I think Brazil won that one. All right, in front of us now is Don Quixote. And this one is a former, I, I'm almost positive this is, used to be a pachinko parlor. Oh, we can make this green light. Oh, we're going to make it. To the left here is a Ferris wheel that I remember walking by, but I never gave it much attention. Another symbol kind of of the new Sakai, not the old Sakai that I know, which is, that's all I know. It's a different world. Whoa, and you can see, I guess the outside of it still has that old, and I believe this was the first pachinko parlor now converted into a Don Quixote, super bright. And it still has that kind of feeling of, hey, it's a pachinko parlor, but it's not, you know what I mean? All the bright lights, wow. It's, it's pretty high up there when you look like from here, the street. Across the street is that Ferris wheel, so we're gonna cross. If you were to go straight this way, you would get to Nagoya Station. I think it's about a 35 minute walk. I did it so many times to try to save 200 yen, which I could use to buy a beer. <laughs> Hey, Peter's here. Peter Stein Kellner. I visited Sapporo this year during the snow festival. So I guess you can also say that this very much looks like uh, Odori Park, right? And Queen of Tacos, long time no see. John, in case you get hungry or thirsty, you got it. I actually, I got a story to tell you about that Queen of Tacos. I put that money, I took it in advance and put that to good use. That's why it's not called a midnight snack run. MJ Recording Studio Productions from Philippines, thank you. And of course, it's nice to see Shane here. Hope everything's going well, brother. Sunshine Sakai is what it's called. I'm not really in a mood to do a Ferris wheel on a Thursday night without Kanai. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Get in trouble. I'm not supposed to have any fun at all. I'm traveling around. This is the Sakai Chika. Chika means basement, by the way, in Japanese. Of course, Chika is also a Japanese girl's names, but it depends on the kanji. When you see it in Romaji or the Roman letters, there's only one way to say it, right? Chika. But um, in Japanese kanji, it has a different meaning. It, so Chika means basement. One of the ways to say basement. And I'm going to take you down there right now if it's still open. Whoa! This building right here. Oh, okay. One, just give me a second here. Whoa. So this building right here was the only internet cafe in 1998. So whenever I wanted to send email back home to the United States, uh, I had um, 
like no options in Okazaki, which is the city that I was living in. So I had to take a train, 40 minutes, the Meitetsu Express into Nagoya, walk 45 minutes or take the subway, but I'd walk because, and it cost me for one hour, it was 1,200 yen or, or $12 to use one hour of internet that was so slow, I could only send like 10 messages, usually to my, my parents and a couple of buddies of mine back home with, with pictures like this size right there on the 10th floor. Now it's that building is still here, but that cafe is gone. No wonder they were ripping me off every time. In their defense, they did give a free complimentary drink. That building's still there. So we're gonna walk around and see what else is, is still here and maybe some things are not. Um, I hope the signal lasts. We're just gonna walk through here and come out on the other side, okay? Get my mask on. I don't know too much about, uh, this is so clean compared to 98. So many changes. I was, I, you know, every time I come back to Nagoya, it's something changes because I don't live here. I live in Tokyo and I can notice all the uh, changes in Tokyo, but not in Nagoya. All right, where's the Crystal Palace or Crystal Plaza? It used to be like right here, right? Am I missing something? Where did it go? Am I missing something? I thought this was the... gone hey Jeff Ang uh, hi John enjoy enjoying the live stream get some refreshments we'll step up at a vending machine or something Nathan Simpson's here how you doing I'm, I'm so confused where where did it go so there was a big crystal palace with a fountain and everything and it was so much so interesting and now it's gone there's Mitsukoshi and uh, back in 1999, I remember coming here one day and I smelled something familiar. I walked in there. They just opened up the first Cinnabon in Japan, in Nagoya, right there. And the smell was wafting down the steps in 1999. And it was so big and so sweet. Japanese were lining up for it for three days and then they, the lines just stopped and Cinnabon went away. Came back a few, few years later in Tokyo. You see, A lot of people don't understand. This is Japan's Midwest. This is the Ohio, the heart of Japan right here. And when a lot of shops wanted to test things out, new products, they came here. It's not Tokyo, it's not Osaka, it's in the middle, it's Nagoya. And it's a great place to, to test market products. Not that far away from here in Fujigaoka was where Taco Bell test marketed tacos in Japan. It failed miserably. This is 1996. Why? Everybody thought it was takoyaki place and 1996 Japanese were not ready for Mexican American food. They go in there and they would be disappointed. Where's the takoyaki? Now with the internet it's very easy to get a lot more information and kind of figure it out. Oh, takosu. Because the taco is called takosu in Japanese. Whoa! How many times have I gone in? How many times did I go into this bank to get to withdraw cash because I was going to a club or something when I was in my 20s? Wow, too many. Got my fingerprints on those ATMs. All right. Uh, across the street, we just we just came from over there. That's Mitsukoshi. I'm not going to show you the lions. You've seen them in Tokyo. This is where all the nightclubs are now. It's about to get real. Hey, Marty's here. MagSafe accessory fund. Somebody's, somebody knows what that means too. <laughs> I saw the announcement. Anthony Kelly, I miss Japan so much. If I, could, if I give you 25 Hong Kong, can you somehow be me there? Anthony! Maybe it's not enough. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I tried, Anthony. 
I was actually concentrating for a couple of nanoseconds. Over there is um, uh, another parallel street. I never really go this way. It gets a little bit smuttier in that direction. Sort of like a kabuki show, I think. Right? You can see they have those, those kabuki show kind of a Shinjuku look over there. But unlike kabuki show, Nagoya is just so much smaller. And I don't say that in a disappointing way. It's just, it's more compact. You see? That's not a bad thing. Not a bad thing at all. All right, on, onwards and upwards. I don't know what this building was. I'm trying to recall from, from my um, muscle memory. I don't remember what this building is, but it's gone. Uh, all my Nagoya friends would know, but... All I know is that down this way was, an, uh, was a daie. All right, let's go down here. A lot of young people out. Some of them not wearing masks at all, talking to each other. Nagoya is part of Aichi Prefecture, Aichiken. It's the capital of Aichiken, and it's one of Japan's 47 prefectures manufacturing powerhouse or it used to be now everything's made in china all right let's look over here i'm you know i haven't walked down here in years so this is very interesting for me as well let's see how this has all changed and i know a lot of other uh, expats might be watching in the playback just kind of trying to see do i do you even remember that there's a lot of stuff i don't remember i'm behind that building that i used to use the internet in so many times and I don't, I don't, I don't, I think this was just like dumpsters and stuff. And now they put restaurants in there. Francis Young, I will see what I can do. I'm, I might have to stop and get something. <laughs> Anthony felt a tingle. <laughs> oh gosh. I must pull harder. Smell some food. I had dinner already. That's why it's not called a midnight snack run. But I can I can get a drink. Look at the construction that they're doing here. Um, straight ahead, I believe, and is oh, there's a Marzen, which is a big bookstore. Was that here? I don't. I think so. Marzen. We used to. I used to read a lot of books because there really wasn't there wasn't any internet back then. No smartphones. I didn't even have a DVD player. I had VHS in '98. Have to go to Tataya to rent VHS cassettes and so expensive, and I always was late. What's going on here? Some sort of ritual. Keep walking. Don't look them in the eye, it's almost midnight. Peter! Hey! Didn't even stop. Gosh. Fog gone. It's typical. So uh, earlier, I don't think that the gimbal was uh, properly connected. There's a little bit of shaking, so I apologize in advance, or in, in, not in advance, but after the fact. All right, so this is getting near the entertainment center and not too far away is the ID bar. And the ID bar is where, wow, a lot of memories were made there. Wow, it's so cleared out. Why is this open here? All right, I'm just gonna walk up here and take a quick look, see. This is not how I remembered it. It's so open. I think this was the Daie here. This was a Daie and this was a Wendy's here on the corner. And I remember Wendy's had partnered with Daie and it was an awful partnership. So Wendy's actually went around for, ah, oh, it's so loud. Ah! Wendy's had partnered with Daie back in the 1990s and the partnership was so bad for Wendy's. They eventually pulled out of Japan and they came back with another partner. I think it's like First Kitchen or something. And they're much, it's a much better partnership. They're doing a lot better. How clean this is. Whoa, so first of all, there's a parking lot here. I don't remember that, although 
It could have been here before, but look at this. This is this is used to be all smutty, like Rapungi was in the 1990s. Don't remember this at all. And if you went straight ahead, there was a new kind of building 20 years ago that's no longer that new. Right over there, do you see that one in the distance? It's sort of dark. There's a uh, loft doll or a loft, and that's where I would buy all my gifts to take back home in the U.S. back then. And you can see the crab restaurant, which is very famous, is also there. That's a Sapporo Kani uh, crab place. I this is not exactly the Sapporo, the uh, Nagoya I remember. All right, let's walk through here and we're gonna wrap around. Fascinating. Oh, hey there, Apollo. Whoosh. A lot of little bars here, don't remember them at all. But with the parking lot on the left side, or on the right side, it's a lot more open than I remember Nagoya being. I remember walking past this when I was visiting for a little bit. It's a horse meat, Bakura horse meat restaurant. It's pretty hardcore, Basashi. Wow. I think we're getting closer to the ID bar because I see ID. My friend Lauren, who lives in New York now, Man, we went out here a lot. She was like, I think for the, the few times that I did come, and I wasn't living in Nagoya at the time, she'd be like my wingman, but she was wingman, but, wingman, but she wasn't a man. <laughs> Wing gal. Yeah. Can't, you can't go out by yourself. You need a, need a partner in crime. Do the time. Wing woman. This is, why, hey, and why do they need two mailboxes together? Which one would you pick, left or right? Is it, are, not too many countries would you see this, just, hey, we're just gonna put another one there. Alrighty. So this is a, interesting, this is a, a kushikatsu restaurant here. And then, right, this was not this clean. What is wrong with this place? And then over here is the infamous uh, ID bar. And um, they have several floors in here where stuff is happening. It sounds like they have music, but I don't think that there's... Wow, they got the whole building. I don't think there's anybody inside. Julie writes in, looks shady. It is, because all the windows are blacked off. So it's very light, all shade in there. Yeah, I don't even want to go. I remember one time I forgot my um, foreigner's card. I forgot my foreigner's card to get in and they wouldn't let me in. So I had to stand outside while all my friends went in and had fun. It's awful. You need ID to get into the ID bar. And not just any ID. I don't think they took, oh, did they take passports? I don't remember. There's, there were some times where they said there, they wouldn't allow tourists, but if you lived in Japan, you could come in. There's like weird rules, all right? I, I, th these are things like in the 19, 1998, 1999. It's real deep stuff. I think Shane is, is putting an advance on a plane ticket here. <laughs> I, I heard like three people shouting, hey, ho, hey, ho inside there's something going on in there it's id bar that's a tall looks like nana-chan come to life what it's nana-chan look at those legs it's nana-chan from yesterday all right so id bar i did i did we could check it off of the list now Okay, it's still here. You had to be there. 
yesterday. Or this morning. This morning. It wasn't even yesterday. I did a Nagoya Station Shinkansen to Meitetsu uh, run. These kids are up to no good. I better keep moving. Don't look them in the eyes. This feels like Escape from New York, the one with Kurt Russell. I feel like some dude in a Cadillac souped up weird blonde messed up hair is going to come out and go <laughs> Escape from New York 1997 Snake Pliskin That's right I'm Snake now. These guys aren't wearing masks. I can't go this way. They're not wearing masks. I'm going around. If you stare at them, maybe they'll put the mask on. Or they'll just beat you up. I right, keep running. That's a new bar. It says W. I guess that has something to do with uh, the ex-president, double, W, not sure. It's a Pikachu vending machine. Oh, look at you, you're such a cute guy. What are you doing in a, a shady place like this, Pikachu? Pikachu, I choose you. Ah! All right, man up. What in here is actually Pokemon? Oh, okay, there it is. There's one Pokemon Mugicha drink. One. No, I'm not gonna get it. It's just Mugi Cha. Just because of you, I'm not gonna buy it. It's marketing. It's, although you're very cute. It's maybe if I have a drink and come back in this area, I will. Rika Mountain. This is Liquor Mountain. Liquor Mountain. Liquor. I hardly know her. Let's get some good stuff in here. It's interesting that they put that here. All right. Let's keep keep moving. I'm I'm a Tokyo person. I'm out of place here. Don't look anyone in the eyes. Ah, don't look them in the eyes. Ah. Let's keep moving. Stuff happens. It is such an interesting city. They've cleared it out. It's so much wide open and spacious, more spacious than before. And it looks like it's a lot cleaner too. I could see myself coming out here with some bros and damage to ourselves mostly because we probably have one or two more than we need to. It's not, uh, it's not good. Don't, don't look in their eyes when you're an out-of-towner. All right, let's go this way. This looks interesting. So today I went to Inuyama, which is a town also to film. Um, it's a castle town. It has a very unique street that uh, resembles old Edo. Old Edo period, lots of old buildings, lots of shops. I was thinking of going back there tomorrow. So I want to get a, uh, everybody get a thumbs up. Let's see if we can get to 750 likes. I will get a beer. Let's make it real. I'll put the chips on the table. You give me the likes, I get the beer. All right. So, I went to Inuyama. So after we get the 750 likes, I'm gonna give you a choice. Tomorrow's live stream, I can A, go back to Inuyama to the castle town where Edo history presides and they have some street food, or I can take you to Nagoya Castle where there's apparently deer roam wild in the moats of Nagoya Castle. So you can either have Castle or Inuyama. Both of them are fine with me. I'm gonna let you choose. Our moderators can tell me who chose the, who, who wins, I guess, based on brute force of audience. It's an interesting building. That guy's wasted. I'm gonna just give him some time. cannot drive. 
Whoa. He's going far white, far to the left. Now to the right. Wait, do it, left, left. No, go left, it's danger. Okay, good. The good thing about being uh, 46 is that I don't do that anymore. And perhaps I never did. All right, for those that, for those that, um, this is the entertainment district. For those that uh, um, were asking about Jerry's Uno, which is a tacos place, a taco place, still in business, I walked by Osukanen. I ate dinner there. I ate dinner at Osukanen, which is a, um, is it a temple? I forget now. It's, it's one of the most interesting places in all of Japan, a market and a shoten guy, and they have so many really interesting restaurants in there, including a Japanese guy who won the number one, the best pizza chef in the world. 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 Japanese guy was the best pizza chef in the world one year. He won. And he lives in Nagoya, and he's a pizza, pizza place. Usually there's a line around the corner. Nobody was in there. So it's 350 yen or like 350 at $3.50 for one pizza. He does it he didn't want to keep the prices high because it was this he wanted to keep it in the spirit of Napo ne Neapolitan pizza which is like pizza should be a couple bucks. That was his thinking and it's good. He makes the sauce, the cheese, the crust all to like specifications of N Napoli restaurant food stuff people Ria, pizzeria. And he does pizza, not pizza, but in katakana, pizza. He does it properly. Some, some of the good chefs do that. All right, we're crossing the street here. We're not even close to 750 likes. This is so weak. Don't know, I'm very disappointed. Don't look in his eyes. He went right by me. Okay. For those in the United States waking up on the East Coast, it's lunchtime almost. West Coast, it's like breakfast. <laughs> Whoa, look at that samurai. It's ready to chop the rice. It's pretty awesome. Looks pretty good. Good restaurants out here. Oh, there's the entrance to um. There's the entrance to the the loft. I don't even know if it's still in business. So we're getting now to the end of the street. We've kind of walked through m much of Sakai. I'm sure I missed some spots. There's a, a misokatsu, which is a very famous place here. There's a chain with a ton of misokatsu shops here. But the problem is though that misokatsu is, misokatsu is like average, I thought. I don't know. I've had it better where, where the old ladies cook it outside of the city center with the kishimen noodles. Oh man, that's like, that is full on Nagoya cuisine. Yeah, it's good stuff. But uh, misokatsu is very good. Something about the miso. I guess it has a lot to do with uh, um, being near near Gifu and some of the mountains in the countryside here in the center, the Chubu area, I believe. Good miso in this area. All right. What is Shane writing here? Please remember to hit the like button. Can I? I can't. I can't push the like button on my own video. Oh, I got. Okay, we got it. Seven fifty-eight. All right. Next conveni, I'm gonna jump in there. There you go. You having fun? Click the like button. That's so creepy. I feel bad for this lady. She's got to stand there all night in the dark. At least turn the light on. Look at him. She's so embarrassed. She's got her face, her hat over her face. I wish you were in another shop. Picked the wrong one. Ashamed. Dark, no lights. 
What did the owner do to you? Don't know. All right, there's a 7-Eleven. Okay, we're, we're going to a 7-Eleven now. Okay, he's stopping for me. This is not the Sakai that I remember. It's so much cleaner. No filthy people, no filthy animals here. Maybe because it's, uh, we gotta wait until tomorrow after, and then perhaps after the pandemic. Francis, 750, get a beer. <laughs> Francis. Uh, Jeffrey, Surrey, Jamie. Good day, John from Australia. Jamie says hi, and I wanna go to the Legoland and the Rail Museum in Kinjo Futo at the end of the, I miss that, the Aonami line. Okay. That's right. Legoland is here in Nagoya because Universal Studios is in Osaka, Tokyo Disneyland's in Tokyo, Legoland is Nagoya. And if you have a Japan Rail Pass, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. All right, here we go. Let's get, let's get a brew. This one's a, this brew is a tribute to Shane. Shane can pick the brew. Okay. Get some, okay. use big ones, okay. Shane picks it. Shane, you want 350 or 500 milliliters? It's up to you, 350 or 500. Shane, what do you, what do you up, up to here? Uh, Ebis, Sapporo, Mold. Don't know. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get what I want then. Shane said 350. Okay. Thanks, Shane. I'm gonna get the good stuff then. Uh, Shane said Asahi. Okay. Change it to Asahi. No, no, Shane said Asahi. But look, it's the official sponsor. I'm not gonna get a Red Bull at midnight. Who's who wrote that? Moderators, do your thing. I'm right, gonna sanitize it. Can I give me wipes? Pretty sure. Hold on. Doesn't the alcohol in it, in the beer, kill it? Okay, it's all sanitized now. All right, to Nagoya. One handed it. All right, do this. To the future. To midnight in Nagoya. Oh. Pour some out for your homies. Who wrote that? Pour some out for your homies. What do you mean? Like, okay, here, Shane. This is for, for all of you then, just a, a drop here. All right, that's for, always, the, was it the Romans? They would, they would spill their drink a little bit on the ground to give it to the gods. So that's, hopefully that gets to you. Oh, it's just a joke now, I hear this, okay, great. 
just wasted 20 milliliters. Shane, that'll, that'll trickle down to you in Canada in say 12 to 20,000 years, eventually make its way to... <laughs> they say if you dig a hole, you get to Japan, right? Dig a hole. I wonder where that's true. What country on the other side of Japan w would be where you could dig a hole and get to Japan? And that country would be very popular because everyone would go to that hole, take a trip to the core. All right, welcome to, to Nagoya. This is the main street again. I think this is Otsudori. I can't remember the name because uh, I haven't lived here since, since for 23, 22 years. But this road has a ton of uh, um, brand names, brand shops. And right now it's pretty not happening because of the time that we're at right now. Yeah. So I'm gonna cross the street, go over to Mitsukoshi in the center, and we're gonna have another look at that Nagoya TV tower and maybe even the Ferris wheel. And then I'm gonna make my way back to the hotel because I'm really tired and gotta wake up tomorrow morning. All right, so also I need to hear from you the people out there watching all over the world. Two things that we can do here. Oh, red light. And if I stand here, I can see it when it turns. So two things that you can do. Number one, um, I need you to tell me if you want me to go to Nagoya Castle tomorrow, or you want me to go to Inuyama Castle Town. Nagoya Castle or Inuyama Castle Town. So you let me know which one that you want. The second thing that you can do no, don't say castle. They're both castles. Say Nagoya Castle or Inuyama. T Inuyama. It I N I N I N U I N U Y A M A. I'm like, not do it both. Pick one. Inuyama, Nagoya, Nagoya, Inuyama. It's very. It's very balanced. I'm looking at the live chat here. Inuyama, 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 Nagoya Castle. Wow, this is gonna be really tough. Hey, Donald N from Canada. Thanks, man, welcome. Welcome to Nagoya. Misokatsu Pangolin. <laughs> Misokatsu, that's a great, I like to say, hi John, I've been living in Nagoya for two years. Of course you have, impossible, please do a special on the Domats, Domatsuri Dance Festival or the World Cosplay Summit. Those are all really good topics. I'd love to get one. I guess it's gonna have to wait a little bit because of the pandemic, but the Cosplay Summit would be insane. I'd love to cover that and get really, I might even go in cosplay, which is, which is kind of scary, but I would do it. I would totally do it. There's that Ferris wheel um, in the center of Sakai in the distance. And we're gonna go out here to this intersection to to drink the rest of the rest of the brew. It's peaceful at night. All right, we've still got some voting going on here. Inuyama is still taking, I think Inuyama's in the lead, although Nagoya Castle had some pretty strong contention there. Takeshi's Castle was not in the, in the, the list. Can't do both, one or the other. They're both castles, but one is a castle town, the other one is a, full-fledged Nagoya Castle. I've never done a live stream there, so. Nagoya, Nagoya, Inuyama, Nagoya. Zelda's not there. It's the wrong castle. Stop, just don't name anime castles, all right? It's... Name real castles. All right, I'm gonna sick this lion on you. Somebody stole his mask. It's the Mitsukoshi lion. I'm not gonna try to talk to the lion. 
I know it's not real. Sandcastle. Stop that. This isn't... You're not in kindergarten. Hooters is not a castle. All right? These comments are... It's awful. Just... Donkey is not a castle. Somebody said go to donkey. It's not even a... Although it does look like a castle over there. It's pretty cool. Is Nagoya Castle under renovation? That's something to consider. It's White Castle, Castlevania. This, this is all messed up. Hey, Deependra Das. Uh, hi, John. Would love to see cosplay Daniel Russo. <laughs> no. No, don't ask for something that will never happen, possibly. Kim S., thank you, Pearman. It's a mic drop there, right there. I, I'm down with that. I got, I could, I could just drop the stick. I have nothing else to show you. I've literally walked around much of Sakai. It's interesting. Very interesting. I can stand on a rock and proclaim Nagoya is ours. This is our town. These are our people. I love Nagoya. I love this town. I shall be back with, with reinforcements and people, not just by myself. Although we are with 1,500 people here, so that's something. Something indeed. This is Spartagoya. That's right. And over there is the uh, Nagoya TV Tower. This was a lot of fun. Uh, I'm glad that we can we can enjoy an evening together. Tomorrow, uh, I'm going to do another live stream. I'm not sure if I'm, I'm going to Inuyama or Nagoya Castle. If, it, if I have time, I'm going to go to Inuyama for sure. If I don't and I, ha I have to rush, then I'm going to go to New Nagoya Castle. But I am definitely doing one or the other. And I'm going to bring you a piece of Nagoya because I'm here for Nagoya. For you. I don't think we can go wrong with either one. If I, if I don't do Inuyama now, I will do Inuyama later. Inuyama later because I want to do the street food there. They have street food. But with the pandemic, the problem with Inuyama is with the pandemic, a lot of the shops are closed there. So on a weekday, it's kind of really quiet. It was, I went there a little bit today, kind of depressing. A lot of the shop owners were really not energized which is a shame. Not, there was almost nobody there uh, today. I think they need some help. So uh, we will, we'll, I'll make a decision tonight. In fact, I'm going to, if you are a, a um, only in Japan insider or traveler, I'm gonna put a poll in there. I'm gonna let you vote. So insiders and travelers, you are gonna be able to vote on the poll and whichever one wins is I'm going to, okay? Nagoya Castle or Inuyama, vote tonight. Poll going up in about uh, 15 minutes. 30 minutes depends on if I got to do it on a computer when I get back to the hotel but you can vote and the winner is where I'm going so you will decide any questions on Nagoya I will take one question then I got to go home you can write in this is the part where you can write in where you're from too by the way you can write in I'm from you know Albuquerque from Santiago Chile New York. I like turtles. <laughs> Serbia. Cool. Uruguay. Manila. Very nice. Right, Nagoya is a place that this is this is sort of my cultural home. This is where I came to Japan and I guess the city wherever you start your career or your expathood, you're knighted with that city. Nagoya is that city for me. And I know Tokyo very, very well. Um, I know Osaka pretty good, and I know those two cities maybe better than, than Nagoya because it's changed so much since I lived here, and that's a shame. So I'm going to have to remedy that, and I'm going to have to come back here again. Um, the city is famous for so many things, Pachinko, Toyota, but the city of Toyota is not that far away. So a lot of the money from Toyota, all the tax dollars, that's in Aichi Prefecture. So they got a lot of tax money from um, industrial car manufacturing. So it's got that kind of feel to it, like the Midwest, kind of like a Pittsburgh, uh, Chicago, Pittsburgh kind of feel to it, a little Midwest to it. 
This is the center of, of uh, Japan in the, in the sense that it's between Tokyo and Osaka. And a lot of the test stores to see if it'll work nationally are done here in Nagoya. So they see a lot of, of new stuff happening here in this city. Um, I, I do like Nagoya very much. Whew. Food specialty is misokatsu, kishimen, um, raw chicken, sashimi. It's strange. Some nice, there's some interesting foods in Nagoya. And the ramen was always good. The ramen was always good. I might get an Ekiben tomorrow and do a live stream of that too. Why not? Just keep going. Francis Yong writes in here, please do Hayama. Hayama's in Kanagawa. That's not even on the board here. I would like to do that. Hayama beef is, is really good too. That's the emperor's wagyu is Hayama beef. All right. Oh, I'm out of here. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that this was uh, informative. Um, uh, it's, it's always, you're just writing in random stuff now. Unagi, this is random. Anthony Kelly, thanks so much for the great stream. Thank you, Anthony in Hong Kong. Uh, Tom's a new, new traveler because he wants to vote. Edo Joseph, have you heard about Japan maybe opening in April? Nothing is definitive, but I know that they're, they're very much in, the, in that direction, moving in the spring of 2021. I'm hearing some things I can't say for sure yet, but I'm hearing more and more murmurs that spring 2021 is, will be the time that uh, Japan opens up a little more. But, but I don't know. It just depends on the world situation. Uh, Oasis 21. I just went there. Ando 1135. I was just there. That started the live stream at Oasis 21. Can you watch the play back? I'll, uh, you know what? I'll, to, hey, Abdul's here. Hey, Abdul. Just, just so you can see it. That's the direction of Oasis 21. You can see some lights between the trees, perhaps, I think. Maybe you can make it out if you look, if you look really closely. I think so. Kim S. Yeah, thanks, Kim. Appreciate everybody. And a big shout out to Shane. And this chug is for Shane. It's not cool to chug on camera. And I don't think that you should chug. It's not good for your health. So just looking out for you. All right, folks. Peace out. In the form of a question tonight. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just here to have some fun. Now I'm here to get some sleep. By the chomp, Jackson Skizzy, David JSC. Cheerios. Breakfast cereal.